Well, new tonight, new questions about the mysterious firing of a popular high school athletic director and former Viking. Now his side of the story and why he's telling our investigative reporter A.J. Legault he is a scapegoat for much deeper issues in the Minneapolis school district. At Minneapolis North High, the athletic director was fired last year, he says, unfairly. You know, I didn't deserve to lose my job. I really didn't. Leo Lewis, former Vikings star receiver, rebuilt the school's sports program, leading them to state championships. The reasons for his firing? A mystery. Until Carol Evan obtained this summary of an internal school district investigation into allegations regarding fraud and missing money. Allegations Lewis flatly um, denies. I didn't, I didn't steal any funds. I didn't misappropriate any funds. So we investigated one of the most serious allegations that Leo's foundation held a celebrity golf tournament promising proceeds would help support North High's athletic programs. The district says there's no record of any money being donated. What happened to that money? Uh, we raised about uh, 4,900 bucks. Uh, we purchased equipment, apparel, supplies. And Lewis provided evidence, invoices like this one for thousands of dollars of girls sports equipment for North High and checks written by the Lewis Sports Foundation to pay for them. And that's just one of the findings Lewis says the district got wrong. And some of them are really false statements. The district claimed when Lewis was questioned, his responses were riddled with excuses and could not be explained. And when it came to buying spirit wear like these caps, they claimed he was plainly untruthful about using an unapproved vendor. I wasn't aware that the printer the vendor wasn't approved. Get this, the district claimed the quote unquote unapproved vendor was this Minneapolis store. I was dumbfounded by hearing that. Store owner Bob St. Main says that's simply not true. We've been uh, approved vendor for years and years. When we investigated the district's claims against Leo Lewis, we discovered St. Main Sporting Goods has in fact been approved to do business with Minneapolis schools since at least 2005. The district's report is what was plainly untruthful. Some of these uh, allegations certainly were not true. They're baseless. The district also dinged Lewis for taking money from athletic events to the bank to change small bills into 100s to make it easier to count before turning it in. Lewis admits that. He was also criticized for poor record keeping of ticket sales and concessions and for a series of purchasing policy violations, a function Lewis says of poor training. And uh, I think it, it is due to lack, lack of training. And at the same time, um, this was pervasive. I mean, this occurred throughout the district. Their own policies weren't consistently enforced? I don't believe they were. He's right again. In a report the district just made to the state, they admit purchasing policies were not consistently enforced in athletics. Lewis's troubles actually began in April of 2017 when records show he reported $8,000 raised from basketball and wrestling tickets was stolen from an unlocked file cabinet in the school's main office. Why weren't those funds locked up? That's a good question. Um, I'm not um, responsible for locking the funds up. Lewis says he'd already taken that money to the main office at North where Dunbar armored cars were supposed to pick it up. And that's where it went missing. Once the funds were out of my hands, they were not my responsibility. An internal investigation found the money wasn't locked up because the safe in the main office didn't work. Why? Because no one knew the combination. Does that set off alarm bells? Of course, absolutely. Former state auditor Rebecca Otto says, by law, when there's a theft, a school is required to report it to the state. So what's supposed to happen by law is when the $8,000 were reported missing, the district should have contacted the Office of State Auditor and reported it in writing. But district administrators ignored that law for two years, never reporting it until a few weeks ago after Carol Levin began asking questions. But that's not the end of the district's failures to safeguard public resources. Even after that ticket money was discovered missing, Lewis says the district never replaced the safe. The assistant said that uh, she didn't have anywhere to store the money. There still were dilemmas in how we could safeguard our funds. In this email, the district admits a working safe wasn't installed until December 14th, 2017 eight months after the original theft, four days after Leo Lewis was put on leave. 
For more than a month, we asked the district for an interview with Superintendent Ed Graff. Over and over, we were denied. Superintendent A.J. Legault with CARE 11, we need some questions. We need to ask you about the situation over at North High. So we walked up to him before a public meeting to ask what was going on at North High. He ignored every question. Can you answer any of our questions, sir? In the end, You're welcome to join me if you'd like. we were invited out into the hallway. Go ahead. Then the district's top man closed the door on further questions. Did he just usher us out? I thought he was joining us. What's all this mean for taxpayers? The district paid Leo Lewis more than $50,000 while on paid leave for six months while they did this flawed investigation and then paid Lewis another $65,000 to stop appealing his dismissal. I'm holding my head high. Our uh, foundation is going to be doing very well in the community. We have for 30 years. I think that, um, you know, I'm going to continue to do good work. For more on what our investigation uncovered and to look at the district records yourself, you can go to care11.com.